Well, new tonight, a where's the money update on PPP business loans. A lot of small businesses in our area are struggling to deal with the process. Those who got the money in the first round are struggling to navigate the forgiveness process, which turns the loan into a grant. And other people are hoping to get money in the second round. So what is going on here? WCNC Charlotte defender Michelle Bowden is here to explain it. We talk to business owners and the accountants trying to help them and they tell us this forgiveness process is a maze of phone calls and dealing with bank employees who don't really know what they're doing. Pre-pandemic, Foxcroft Wine Bar would always fill up inside and out. So popular, the owner opened several locations and even the speakeasy dot dot dot. Much like everybody else, you know, it started out as kind of like, oh my God, what are we going to do now? Everything's shutting down. Owner Conrad Hunter managed to get some PPP funds. that helped him to keep most of his more than 100 employees. And now he, like so many business owners, is trying to navigate the loan forgiveness process. Has it been a difficult process for you? It is, but it's just tedious. How bogged down the system is. His accountant is a bit more blunt. It has been one hell of a process. Nisha Pai, whose clients are all small businesses, says the PPP forgiveness process is seriously complicated for everyone. The banks are also scrambling to get, you know, to get answers and, and everyone's just scrambling. After months of back and forth, the latest word from Washington is that businesses that got up to $150,000 from PPP will only have to fill out a one page affidavit and submit proof of their payroll. Pai says that part should now be fairly straightforward. The rest? Banks are hiring third parties to actually review the applications, and they're also um, purchasing a third party software, which still has a lot of kinks in it. Took me no shorter than about a four week period back and forth with the banks. That's precious time she knows her clients don't have. It's an unfair situation of having to apply for forgiveness when they are just trying to stay afloat and they don't even have time to do administrative work. They're trying to run their business. And she's got a whole lot more specific advice for this forgiveness process and what you need in going through it. Also, who should apply for the next round of PPP and when? We've got all of that exclusive web extras on WCNC.com. Michelle Bowden, WCNC Charlotte.